Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very special recipe of spinach that is called Lasuni Palak in India. I am going to make it with gram flour and peanut powder along with a special tadka of garlic. So let's see the recipe. Here I have taken two medium sized tomatoes, one big size onion, two tablespoons of finely chopped garlic and two tablespoons of whole garlic cloves. I crushed the whole garlic cloves a little, here it is. I crushed them a little and I am going to use this for a tadka. And here are 3 to 4 green chilies lengthwise cut and the rest of the things I am going to show you during the recipe. At first I have taken a pan and now we have to roast 2 teaspoons of besan that means gram flour. The heat should be on medium and it will take about 6 to 7 minutes on medium heat and now the gram flour is roasted very nicely. So I am changing the pan. Now we have to add cooking oil into the pan. We have to let the oil heat well and after that we have to add some cumin seeds. 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 4 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 3 to 4 red chilies, a pinch of asafoetida. We have to fry everything nicely and after that we have to add the chopped garlic cloves. So here it is. I am adding the chopped garlic cloves here and the whole garlic cloves I am going to use for a tadka at the end of the recipe. After adding the garlic we have to wait for about 6 to 7 seconds only on medium heat and after that we have to add the onions. 6 to 7 seconds are passed and now I am going to use the onion here. A big size onion finely chopped. I have added here. Along with it I am going to add the green chilies here. And now we have to wait for a transparent color of the onions. Now the onions are ready and now we have to add the tomatoes here. Two medium sized tomatoes finely chopped. After adding tomatoes we have to add some spices also. So at first I am adding salt to taste. Some turmeric powder. 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and red chilli powder according to taste. My spices mixture seems to be very dry, so I am adding some water here. A little water I am adding and after adding water, I am going to cover the pan and wait for some time until oil is released from the spices. In between we have to uncover the pan of course and check the spices and now the spices are ready as you can see, oil is released very nicely. Now we have to add the gram flour, roasted gram flour. And along with it, I am going to add some peanut powder, roasted peanut powder. Simply roasted some peanuts and cooled them down. And after cooling down, I grinded them into a coarse powder. Now we have to add water gradually as the mixture goes to be thick. We'll add water little by little. This way, as I am showing you. And now the gram flour is not soaking water anymore. So after mixing very nicely we have to cover the pan. The heat should be on medium. And in between we have to uncover the pan and stir the mixture very nicely of course. And now the mixture is ready. As you can see the oil is released from the spices very nicely. So now we have to add the spinach here. And after adding spinach I am going to cover the pan for some time. Until the spinach is soft a little. And after 2 to 3 minutes, here is the texture. I am going to mix everything very nicely. After mixing nicely, we have to cover the pan again for 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat. And now the quantity is so much decreased as you can notice. Now we have to add water. Again, we have to add water little by little because we have to maintain the thickness of the recipe. So I am showing you the thickness and this is the perfect consistency of the recipe. So now I am going to cover the pan until the veggies are cooked very well. After 6 to 7 minutes the veggies are cooked very nicely, especially the stem part of the veggies should be cooked very nicely and they are cooked well and you can notice the consistency of the curry. 
I am showing you that the veggies are cooked nicely. Here is the stem part of the veggies and uh, it is cooked very nicely as you can notice. So now it is time to add a tadka for this recipe. I have changed the pan adding some cooking oil into the pan. Let the oil heat well and after that I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a pinch of asafoetida. After everything is fried well, we have to add the garlic cloves here. We have to fry the garlic cloves very nicely, they must not be raw at all. So the heat should be on medium and after 2 to 3 minutes, the garlic cloves are cooked very nicely and I am taking 2 of them for garnishing and now I am going to add a pinch of red chilli powder for a nice color. After mixing everything, we have to transfer the tadka into the curry very quickly. So, I am changing the pan again and adding the tadka into the curry. Now, we have to mix everything very nicely and our curry is ready. After mixing the curry very nicely, I am going to turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. So friends, you have seen that the recipe is very easy and it's super delicious to eat with roti and chapati and you may enjoy it with boiled rice as well. It's super delicious to eat. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.